back to the Diabetic Diet Show. Today's show is Turkey Meatballs with Zucchini. It's show number 278. For ingredients, we're going to start out with our list. 10 ounces of ground turkey. Then we have garlic, capers, a cream of some sort, like a franchisi, any, any kind of uh, cream cheese. And then a pasta, which is an orzo type pasta. Zucchini, breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs that I like to use is the panko. They're different than the Italian ones. I have a demi glaze and I also have tomatoes, lemon, butter. So I'm going to use a roasted garlic in place of fresh garlic. So the first thing we need to do is to grab our turkey and get going on making these meatballs and then we'll get them cooking. So I'm going to start out with deciding how many I'm going to make. So it's going to be Barb and myself. So what I'm going to do is make three a piece. So I'm taking the meat that I have and I'm dividing them up into threes. And this supposedly, 10 ounces of meat, supposedly is enough to make 10 meatballs. But I'm going to make them in threes. So that's about the size of the meatballs of what, of what they're going to be. So I could show you when I'm done. Looks like that. Now, I already had these cut. I'm going to go ahead and throw them in here. Breadcrumbs. Just like that. Then you need to knead your breadcrumbs. I like to wear these gloves. I get them at the restaurant supply place where I buy some of the fancy stuff you see me using, like the larger aluminum foil. You're not going to find that at the local grocery store. I have water boiling in a tea kettle. That's going to be for our pasta. The little trick is boil it first in a tea kettle and then dump it in your pan. So I have my breadcrumbs. And there's my turkey ball. Just like that. Now, need to get the tea kettle. Turn this up. I'm going to turn this one up, get that heating up. Now I need to make the meatballs. Now, I need to put some oil in the pan and then I need to put some salt and pepper in with this turkey. So I tend to use a lot of oil. I like a lot of olive oil. Now for salt and pepper I'm going to use fine. A finer salt mixes better with your meat. Now let's make the meatballs. Just mix this salt and pepper in here. Just kind of knead it around. Now 
not really easy using the gloves. I know a lot of people probably don't like using them. Okay, here we go. Meatballs. Remember the size of them? They were about that big. Okay, let's let these start cooking. Let's go ahead and get our pasta orzo going here. The water's boiling. Let's put it in there like that. And then let's put the cover on it. Now I'm just gonna put a little bit more salt and pepper on these. Easy on the salt, because I did put some salt, but that will make it taste good. Now let's go ahead and get on to cutting up the zucchini and stuff. For garlic, of course, you could use several cloves of garlic. I'm going to use the roasted garlic today. Just buy it from the grocery store, right like this in bottles. This one's getting low, so I put another one next to it, so I'll have it. And the capers, I've already measured out the capers. Cream, I already have the cream measured out. By the way, before I forget, while I'm thinking of it, um, the instructions for the measurements and everything that I'm using here, if you click on the subscribe button in the lower right-hand corner, then right below my picture will pop up where it says more and the measurements are going to be in there. So let's go ahead and get started with our zucchini. I just cut off the ends. Now I want to cut these up into wedges. Nice and slow, make sure this thing don't turn on you. I'm literally holding my hand behind it. I'm just going to go ahead and give myself a wedge here. Just like that. And then I will cut these in half. There you go, there's your zucchini. Just like that. Tomato, we'll use in a bit. Your lemon, you want to roll it just like this, and then you want to cut it in half, and then we can take and put it in the squeezer, and we'll use the squeezer in just a little bit. Now let's go ahead and get our zucchini going, so let's put some olive oil in the pan. Just give a little bit of a shake. My pan is hot already. I had it going. So I'm going to take my zucchini. Throw it in here like this. Then I have some garlic. I'll reuse it. There was plenty in that bottle. We didn't need the new one. We'll save that for next time. Capers. Put some capers in here. Let's let that go for a second. Check the pasta. We'll use the same spoon here for zucchini. Safe, we're not cross-contaminating anything. Let's also put some salt and pepper in here. Let's see what I do with the salt and pepper. Right here in front of me where I can't see it.
I have the pasta boiling on the stove rather than out here because I have the two burners with the two pans going. This has to get to 180, so that's going to take just a little bit. Let's go ahead and put these ingredients in. So here's some tomatoes and then some demi-glaze. And you can put these in with the meat if you want later, or you can do it now. To be honest with you, it's all going the same place. So Here's the butter. I just cut off butter. In case anybody doesn't know my trick for butter. See if I have a clean one handy here so I don't have to go back to the dishwasher. Scoop your butter out with this, with an ice cream scoop. Have more than one. Go to the dollar store. I went to the dollar store the other day and bought a couple of really neat new things. I bought some new uh, tools. I got a muffin pan because I'm going to make some muffins. I got a avocado knife slicer scoop. I found this large spatula. I thought it was really nice. We'll use that for our meatballs. So let's let this go ahead and cook a little bit here. I have my lemons. This is supposed to keep it from dropping seeds in here. And of course, if you don't have a small lemon press, you can go with plan B, which is lemon up, squeeze, let it run through your fingers, and that will catch the seeds. I might as well use this since I already have it and it's dirty. It's amazing how much more lemon juice you get out with uh, lemon press, though. I have my thermometer to check things, but I also have my timer going for the pasta. I'm down to one minute and six seconds on that. Now for the lid here, let's just make sure it's not hot before I grab it. Move it over here, and then we can check these. If we need to, we can turn them over. I like them a little brown. That's why people like to cook them in a cast iron pan, so you get that font on them. As you can see, the thermometer acts as a multi-tool. You'll also notice, just because I'm, I'm an old cook, I've been cooking for over 40 years, I move the meatballs to the outside of the pan. These new pans are supposedly cooking with an even heat, and it's not important anymore. I still do it out of habit. So here's my thermometer. Let's go ahead and get a sample temperature to see what our meat is. I'm looking for 180. I'm at 204. These are all set, ready to go. Now, Take my pan lid, turn off my heat while I'm thinking of it. I like that fancy new pan lid holder I got. Keeps it right there like that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put in this cream. Let's just put this over here out of the way. I have a spoon here for it. I'm going to go ahead and do it before I mix the two together and change the temperature of everything. Because you know the cream has to melt. Also too wanted to remind you of my website which is 
James T D D S dot blogspot dot com. I have some more details and some more options are will be on there. More pictures will be available. Also, don't forget to click that subscribe button now, and then you can go to where it says more and see all the measurements where it'll tell you 10 ounces of turkey and four ounces of pasta and four ounces of tomatoes. Those measurements are important. So click on the subscribe button, click on the more button, and and then you can go ahead and print that out. Let's go ahead now, put that in there like that. Give it a little shake, sure smells good. And put some pasta in here. Let's go ahead and serve this up. This is looking delicious. So, I know Barb's going to want more than three, but we get three <laughs> apiece. It smells delicious. Wow, there we go. How about that, huh? It's pretty exciting. There we go. That's the show for the day. Thanks for watching. Goodbye for now.